Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdevout.com uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a, another quick tutorial to show you how I sort of uh, applied this uh, icy and uh, frozen uh, effect over this uh, letter A. Uh, this is uh, a, a, a previous tutorial I published on psdevout.com and uh, yeah, so I just got some questions regarding how to uh, apply this uh, uh, textures and uh, achieve this uh, sort of frozen effect. Uh, so this is uh, just a video tutorial, video tutorial to show you the the detailed steps. Um, yeah, so as you can see, this is the the final effect I have. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to the layered document so I can just uh, show you from the scratch. All right, so this is the layer the original layered document. So um, as you can see, I've got a, a letter A typed in the middle of the in the middle of the canvas. So we're just gonna use that as a foundation for our text effect. So I load I sort of loaded this um, uh, stock image, this IC uh, stock image uh, into Photoshop. Uh, so we're just gonna go to the uh, selection tool and we're just gonna use the, the polygonal uh, lasso tool. So click on that. And we're just gonna draw a, like a triangular shape. Like that. Okay, we're just gonna press Ctrl plus C. We're just gonna copy that bit of selection and we'll paste that above the letter and we're just going to hit Control plus T and bring up the free transform tool. I'm just going to resize that down a bit so it doesn't go over the edge. So I'm going to rotate that, rotate that a bit as well so it just feeling to the um, the letter's um, shape. Can I reduce the size a bit, a bit more? Um, yeah, we'll keep that like this. Okay, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer once. Gonna resize that again. Gonna move that slightly into a shape as well. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer once more. A few more times. And we're going to rotate that a bit as well. Okay. So we've got three um, um, I see uh, texture layers, so we're just gonna hit, hold down the uh, the shift key, and we're gonna select all these all these three layers. Gonna right click and going to merge layers. Okay, so now you can see this all three layers have been been merged. Uh, we're just gonna dupl duplicate this merged layer once once more. We're gonna rotate that again. Resize that and rotate that. I'm gonna attach that to a different part of the text. So just keep du keep um, duplicating this layer. Uh, rotate that again. So we'll just attach that to a different part of the text. Yeah, so just keep repeating this process um, and resize as you see fit. Um, so I'll show you the the final outcome of all this duplication. Uh, just gonna hide all this layer. So this is the left hand side I have. So that's the right hand side. So as you can see, the center part. Um, I this little bit um, uh, warping effect here, so that's because I applied a few the a few.
few warping um, shapes in there. So basically, you just need to right click, uh, sorry, uh, Control plus T, uh, and go to and uh, right click on that selection and go to warp. So you can just adjust that shape slightly, slightly. And um, yeah, so that's the effect. But this is completely optional. Uh, you can either do it or not do it. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, so that's the right hand side. Okay, so we wanted to get rid of the the bottom the 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 the, the bottom white uh, portion of the text. So I basically use um, use. Uh, a soft eraser and I apply this layer mask over it so as you can see I erased uh, a large portion of the text so that's the, the final outcome there okay so now we have um, a bit of texture over the over the over the leather uh, we wanted to apply some layer uh, blending options so so we can have some sort of uh, depth onto this texture so which is basically we wanted to merge all these layers um, once more we're gonna and as you can see I've got one of the layers there already merged um, so basically we wanted to apply the following uh, three blending effects so you've got the uh, prevail and boss and you've got the stroke and you've got the gradient overlay so basically the most important part here is the, the, the prevail and emboss um, so we wanted to to use the inner brow, inner prevail um, one of the bit of uh, smooth techniques uh, we adjust the depths to this number here. Uh, we wanted to change the size a little bit as well. Um, yeah, so we change the opacity and the highlight mode. Uh, once more, opacity and the highlight mode for both the white color and the black color. Uh, we'll keep the angle as it is. So apply a bit of uh, contour here as well. Um, yeah, and stroke. Uh, we wanted to basically add some colors on the outside, so we chose this uh, bit of side color there. So overlay, basically that's that's the that's the light effect above the texture. So yeah, so once we apply those effect, you, as you can see, we've got some uh, up and downs and a bit of shades and highlights. Here and there, so that that increase the depth of this texture a bit, uh, and make that uh, slightly um, not as so as flat as the original texture. And um, also, as you can see, I have a layer mask attached to the text to this merged um, texture layer. So this is to just get rid of some of the um, the outside bits, so that fades into the background. Um, yeah, so I duplicate this layer once more, and uh, that's the that's the outcome um, after uh, after we we sort of duplicate this layer. And uh, as you can see, I applied um, we we got some you know uneven uneven colors, and we just we just basically want some white color and. And uh, on the main part of the text, so basically I went into the uh, image adjustment options and I attached the two adjustment layers. The first one is the selective color, and the second one is the black and white. So basically, with the selective type color, you can um, set the to set the color tone of this main part of the text. So basically. I change the sign um, colors so to have more white in there um, and um, 
basically I adjusted the blue color as well um, if you wanted to know the detail setting just go back to my uh, tutorial on psdbot.com uh, I've got the link down below uh, you can check the detail settings there and uh, yeah so for this black and white color as well so we further reduce the, the, the color in the center so that that give uh, the text uh, more um, a bit of uh, more more um, icy uh, uh, frozen looks uh, in the center, and we just leave the the outer edge to have some um, bluey uh, color, so that that um, that will have some uh, ocean feeling there as well. Okay, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, so. Um, that's that's the final outcome after a few more adjustments and here and there um, um, some liquify um, options there's been applied as well to form the the outer edge like the flowing fat over there so uh, just to give some more um, more uh, more styles there and uh, yeah so um, just check out the uh, the full tutorials down below um, for the detail settings and um, yeah so hopefully this tutorial helped uh, clarify a few things for you and uh, yeah I'll see you next time and um, have a great day